still awake. Called Sam for the third time that night. Try counting sheep, sweetheart, suggested his mum with that. A really big yawn and she was tired as well. But they're all fast asleep, said Sam. Not real sheep, laughed mum. Shut your eyes and just imagine they're jumping over. Sam settled down into his cosy little bed and he tried his best. Every time Sam managed to think of a sheep, it stuck its tongue out at him and then ran away. Mum! Oh, it's no working! His mum answered with a loud snore. Oh, well, I'll just have to come up with my own idea, Sam said to himself. He trotted off outside into the farmyard and he had a look around. Everyone was sleeping, or almost everyone was sleeping. Sam could hear a wee clicky, clicky, clicky sound coming from the hen house. He knocked on the door, called softly into the hens. Suddenly Mother Hen opened the door, put her beak out and gave a wah! Wah! Do you want? she asked. Sam explained that he needed help to get to sleep. Wah! Sam needs us, clucked Mother Hen to the rest of the hens. The hens all followed Sam back to his bedroom. One by one they started flapping over the bed. Well, Sam counted them. One, two, three, four. The problem was, each time they fluttered across, it let out a loud squawk. I'll never get to sleep with all that noise, thought Sam. So he just said thank you to the hens and let them get back to their hen house. Those hens made such a noise that they wakened up the pigs. <coughs> What's going on? They grunted. We definitely need more beauty sleep. Sam told them he couldn't get to sleep and the pigs already agreed to help him. You can count as I'd be trot around your bed. That's okay, help you get to sleep. Sam snuggled down under his duvet and got ready to count. But as the first pig trotted by, he left such a stinky, smelly, pooey smell behind him. <coughs> Sam began to cough. When the next pig jogged round the bed, Sam's eyes started to water. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think it's working. Oh, oh, he managed to splutter covering his nose. Oh. When the pigs had finally gone back to the sty, Sam stood alone in the middle of the farmyard. I feel wide awake, he said. Henry the horse peered over the stable door. Nay, there's no good counting horses. Quite simply because there is only one of us. Nay, when I can't sleep I count all the rosettes that I've won. I haven't got any rosettes, said Sam. But I'm getting really fed up trying to get to sleep, Henry said. I think I'll go back to my bedroom, but thank you. Tucked up in bed, Sam snuggled down yet again and tried one last time to count the sheep. One, two, three. This time, the sheep did not stick their tongues out. And before he could even count to four, Sam was fast asleep. Counting sheep did what? After all. You try counting sheep tonight, boys and girls, when you go to bed. Don't be jumping outside to see if there's any chickens or any pigs or any horses. <laughs> that would just be absolutely silly. You snuggle down, close your eyes, <gasps> cuddle your favourite teddy bear. That's one of mine. And just count those little fluffy sheep until you fall asleep. <laughs>